there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're going to talk some celebrity news and gossip, you guys, uh, on this Friday. Uh, anything I say is alleged in my personal opinion and all of the things, you guys. And let's talk about it. So Diddy is requesting bail once more, you guys. Yes, uh, his legal team has put together another uh, bail package worth $50 million where he is basically saying he's not going to flee the country, he's not going to intimidate any witnesses, and his receipts and his rationale is that there are people who were, uh, you know, uh, charged with similar crimes as him and uh they, they're not behind bars all right and uh diddy <laughs> did those same people have all of these alleged freak off tapes you know bill bellamy said something the other day that you know i didn't even you know realize i didn't even think about he said it's one thing as far as the people who are getting calls right now from investigators or people around Black Hollywood or whomever that are like, "Hey, we, you're, you're on this, you're on this freak off tape, right?" And some of them knowingly know what they partook in, but it's another for some of these people who may or may not remember attending a Diddy party and may or may not remember. What happened at the Diddy party? And they're walking around like, what's on the tapes? What's on these freak offs, right? What, like, what is happening with the thousand uh, baby oils and, and all of the things, right? What, what is going on? And that is mad, you guys. That is absolutely mad to not even, you know, but, but this is what happens when you, they promote this celebrity life. And unfortunately, some people want to, you know, see how far you want to go to be a celebrity, how far, what things you're going to partake in, uh, you know, no matter how much uh, it's debaucherous and everything else. And, and so I, I just don't see a situation where Diddy is getting out of prison. I, I don't see it, right? Um, a miracle would have to happen. And it's definitely not happening since people elected Trump. But anyways, and, and, and to your kids, Diddy, that's fine. You know, obviously they're going to think great of their father, right? But I'm going to need you guys, those of you that are grown, to get with the program. We don't want to see a reality show. We don't need to see you rehabbing Diddy's image. We don't need you to reactivate his Instagram and post old family photos and all of these things. Read the room. We want no parts. If people are already, you know, talking about your father at parties and, and you're trying to get into fights with people, maybe it's a good idea to lay low. If you're going to be supporting him loud and proud and all these things, maybe it's good to lay low. We don't need to hear about it or see it, right? So so that's that on that. Uh, next, we have the Grammys. Uh, the Grammy nominations came out, you know, um, Beyonce led the way, surprise, surprise, you know, with 11 nominations. And, uh, you know, of course, she was also nominated for Album of the Year. And I believe Kendrick Lamar was second with seven nominations because Not Like Us is going to clean up the Grammys. And um, also Beyonce thanked uh, Linda Martell for her Grammy nomination and wanted to, uh, you know, attribute it to her being a pioneer for uh, country music and all of these things, right? So here's my thing, right? Who is shocked? Raise your hand that Beyonce got nominated for a Grammy. Right, show of hands. I, I I believe she's gonna be the most nominated ever with like 99 Grammy nominations. L listen, of all albums to be nominated for album of the year, Cowboy Carter, you guys. <laughs> I, I I just I I I knew this was going to happen. 
every time Beyonce kept saying, oh, this is not a country album, this is a Beyonce album. But when Jay-Z made that speech that was insulting to SZA, uh, you know, and other black people that were nominated at the Grammys last year, I knew they were going to uh, reward Beyonce with all these nominations. Now, here's the thing. Here's what the Grammys are always going to do, though is in and, and the election is a perfect example of this we're going to give you these awards in these black categories right but the big categories like album of the year we're going to reward people like taylor swift right but we're going to have you dominate all of the headlines and all of the press of having the most nominations because maybe you might perform a song for us. Maybe you'll present something for us or do something and we'll get your butt in the seat at the Grammys. But we're also going to humiliate you and give somebody else this album of the year because we don't want to give it to you for a multitude of reasons. So if Beyonce and Jay-Z show up to the Grammys once more, you guys, in February, you already know what time it is. And that is still seeking acceptance from an award show that is giving you their bleep to kiss. It, it's, it's as simple as that, you guys. I would boycott the Grammys. I mean, didn't Jay-Z boycott the Grammys briefly uh, when he was nominated for eight nominations for his album? And he talked about it in the song and he said, you know, F the Grammys and that 0 for 8 bleep. Remember that? Are, are you guys going to boycott or, or are you guaranteed a Grammy? So therefore you're going to show up anyways. Or you think there is a chance you could win on Cowboy Carter this year. I'm not buying it. Not with Taylor Swift out there and other... They're going to give it to somebody random, you guys. Because that's how it always goes. So I don't even understand the hoopla. I don't understand why people are excited about this. Because it's going to be the same thing that it is every single year. And then you guys are going to be upset. Your blood pressures are going to be up. Why didn't Beyonce win album of the year? I'm, I'm tired. Blah, blah, blah. But you guys said you weren't going to even entertain this. Why, why even submit for the Grammys if you're that pissed off with them? Because there is no amount of money that I'm going to be sitting up here getting humiliated every year uh, begging for album of the year. No, 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 no. Not happening, you guys. Uh, and so finally, you guys, I want to talk Rihanna. And I want to tell you guys, I told you so. I told you so as long as I have had this YouTube channel that Rihanna has been done with music and she had been done with making albums and touring effectively when somebody leaked her album. When somebody leaked her album because of jealousy, insecurity or whatever, Rihanna said bet I'm going to do this tour, but guess what? It's going to be Fenty everything. It's going to be, I'm going to go harder in the paint for Fenty beauty, for Fenty skin, for Fenty hair, for Fenty kids, for Fenty home and gardens, for Fenty Barbados, for, for Fenty, Fenty, Fenty. I am going to Fenty you out because you are not going to play in my face and sabotage my album and think I'm still going to be putting out records for y'all if this is the type of business you're running. And it's clear as day that the music industry right now, especially the black music industry, is not the place right now for anybody to be hyping up with all this stuff going around with Diddy. Because for whatever reason, people think that Diddy is just going to be the only person that's going to fall, you know, in, in all these things. No, 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 no. They're going to stagger this out. They're going to milk this Diddy thing as long as possible, just like they did with R. Kelly. And then somebody else is going to be up. So I do not blame Rihanna. So why, why are people freaking out now? What happened now? So Rihanna, uh, the other night she had a, uh, um, she was able to open Fenty Beauty, um, in Barbados, her home country. And it was a big celebration and all of these things, right? 
And so what has, you know, people upset is that Rihanna basically said, you know, you guys know me first because of music. You guys know me first because of, you know, I came to you guys in song, but God had other plans for me. That's all she said. <laughs> she actually, she's actually said more about retiring in other interviews and other things that she's done. This is like the least offensive uh, thing that she said and done, but, but it doesn't matter. The Navy is melting down. The, the Navy is melting down. I told you guys, I told you guys, Rihanna retired uh, in 2016. She retired with that anti-album. Now, had somebody not leaked it, we probably would be on R9 or R10 or R11. But you need to take up your grievances with whoever leaked that album. Because whoever leaked that album pissed Rihanna off. Because I saw, I went to the anti-tour. I saw her, I think, two or three times that tour. And each tour date I went to, she made it a point to mention about her album being leaked. So I knew right then and there that uh, this was this was going to be uh, 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 this was the end <laughs> that that Rihanna is going to put all of her focus, all of her en energy into Savage X Fenty and Fenty Beauty. And you better enjoy Rihanna while you can. And, and, and like what she did with the Black Panther soundtrack, she'll release different singles here and there. And I believe she has another animated uh, film coming out. So I believe she's going to have songs on the soundtrack. Now, I don't think that, you know, she's like retired, retired in terms of like she's never going to record anything again. I think she'll just do singles here and there or she'll be featured on, on tracks here and there. But effectively, as far as like sitting there and doing a full album, a full tour and all this other stuff. No, 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 no. Y'all played in her face. Whoever leaked that album and whoever blocked that documentary that Rihanna also had as well. Whoever is responsible for those things, uh, that is who the Navy needs to be upset with. Because you effectively, uh, you know, retired Rihanna with that action, with those types of actions, trying to sabotage other people. But Rihanna is, you know, winning tenfold with the success of everything else that she's got going on. And, and who knows? Maybe she wants to have more kids, right? Because she really wants to have a girl. Maybe she wants to, you know, take more time off. We don't know. But she didn't actually explicitly say, I'm retired from the music industry. I'm never putting out an album again. I'm never recording music again. But you guys took that and ran. You took that and ran. And like I said, Rihanna has given more hints to retirement in, in other interviews than she has in, in the statement she gave last night. But you guys got in a tizzy and you're still in a tizzy. And I told you she was retired. You did not want to accept it. I told people, I'm like, I don't understand these podcasters. I don't understand these interviewers that keep asking Rihanna about R9. The last time Rihanna cared about R9 was, was when it actually was in the works and it was going to be a reggae album and Rihanna was all excited about it. And the next thing, uh, we never heard of it again. And then sometime later, you know, uh, Rihanna said she's recording new music. Another time Rihanna said that, you know, her taste in music has changed and blah, -de blah, -de blah. You see her all the time at the studio, but it's probably to just watch ASAP Rocky record in the studio. So, so nonetheless, you guys got your hopes up for nothing. Like I said, Rihanna will release, you know, singles here and there and, and maybe be a part of a soundtrack or whatever with the animated films and things. But, but it, as far as the days of a traditional album and a world tour and, and all this stuff, no, 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 no. R Rihanna's not feeling it. Take it up with the person who leaked her album. The person who leaked her album is the person responsible for Rihanna being retired. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.